What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of the DJI Avada. Now, normally I wouldn't do a, an unboxing or a dedicated unboxing uh, to a drone this late in the game. I know the Avada you know, has been released now for about three weeks already, or three or four weeks. And, uh, but this is uh, basically a special occasion, <laughs> you can call it. Uh, this is my first FPV drone. Uh, if you're a you know subscriber to my channel, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know I only fly you know uh, GPS drones. So uh, this is my first uh, FPV. Um, I just wanted to actually get into the FPV world, but I was a little hesitant in the past. Um, I spent the last few weeks since this drone has been released actually doing some research watching other people's uh, reviews, you know, some mainstream guys, some, you know, average drill guys just flying them around and to see if this will be, you know, a good drone for me to, you know, get into the FPV hobby. But this here is maybe a perfect drone for me because it is like ready to fly, everything's ready to go. And, uh, you know, I just want to learn how to fly FPV, that style of flying. I, I did also purchase the uh, FPV remote. When it became available on DJI website, I went up and you know went and snatched it up real quickly. And I've had this for about a week already. And I've been practicing um, on a simulator. I use Liftoff if you're wondering which simulator it is. But um, I've been practicing for about a week. After a few days, actually, I was getting the hang of flying full acro. And uh, it has already been a week so far. And I think uh, I might be ready to go full acro uh, as soon as I get this drone. Of course, I'm going to test out the, the normal mode, the sports mode and all that stuff. But um, I wanted to be able to fly acro once I got the drone uh, because I wanted to basically unleash the full potential of the Vada. So if you are interested in seeing my first fully manual, fully acro uh, flight with the DJI Vada, I will be doing a video shortly, uh, maybe in the next couple of days, and I will document, you know, my first flight uh, in Acro. Please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss um, my next video or any of my other content. So with that said, let's uh, get into this box here. All right, so we have two boxes within one, and I'm gonna take out this first box here, which is, uh, seems to be the mask and the motion controller. And just to let you know, I did get the, uh, the ProView bundle, and um, it comes with a mask, motion controller, and the drone. So I'm gonna take these two boxes out. All right, so the first one we're gonna open will be the, the drone itself. All right, so it comes nicely wrapped in a little, seems like a nice heavy gauge uh, plastic bag. And uh, on the inside of the lid, you have a QR, QR code uh, that you can scan to get the app. Uh, which you will need. All right, so here it is in all its glory. Um, it is quite small, uh, smaller than I expected. So this is here is your charger. Plug this in the back here and then plug the USB Type-C cable in here and start charging your battery. Here are some extra propellers and here is the USB-C cable for your charger. Now, DJI didn't provide a charging brick. I'm gonna to have to do some research on what, what is the best you know, charging brick for uh, these batteries here. And that's it. That's all that's in the box for that. All right, so here is the goggles two and the motion controller. So let's open this box here. All 
All right, so we have the goggles here, which are tiny. These are pretty tiny. So um, I do like these, uh, and I actually wanted these instead of the the version uh, two goggles because it has the adjustable, I guess, eyepieces in here for focus. I'm interested in seeing how these would work for me, and um, and I'll let you know <laughs> once I you know hook everything up. And inside this box here, these look like uh, these eyepieces that go in there. I guess you can get your own prescription and put them in there as well. Here is the connector cord. I guess the battery connection here. This is the motion controller. Uh, I'll give it a try and uh, we'll, you know, we'll see. But like I said, I wasn't really interested in getting this, but since I have it, I'll you know, give it a try and I'll do a video on it and see. But um, mostly I think this is like, uh, you know, kind of gimmicky, but you know, it is what it is. And here is the, the strap for the head strap for the uh, goggles. And here is the goggles battery, click it in here. And it has a nice little clip on here to securely fasten the um, uh, the cord there, so you won't yank it out by mistake. And it's something else in here. Let me see what this is. This is the OTG cable uh, that I believe you have to hook up to um, to your goggles to connect your phone. You have a quick start guide. You have eyeglass frame uh, instructions, and you have uh, some other stuff here, which, you know, most people don't even look at. All right, so here are the most important components of the ProView combo. You have your Avada, the drone. You have your goggles too. With the goggles too comes a battery, OTG cable, and your power cord. And then also you get the motion controller. So the Avada has a 4K camera, which is capable of shooting up to uh, 60 frames per second. It also offers uh, 2.7K up to 100 frames per second and 1080p up to 120 frames per second. Now the 120 frames per second is if you were using the goggles version two, which is the other goggles, not these. Uh, if you are using these, then the uh, drone is capable of shooting only uh, up to 100 frames per second. You can record in a standard color profile or the cine uh, Also, you can, when you do record video, it is recording in a max bit rate of 150 megabits per second. The camera supports uh, Rocksteady and Horizon Steady for your stabilization. And also it does record your gyro data, which you can actually upload into a uh, third party software to get even better um, stabilization. Now the camera is on a single axis gimbal and it has gimbal dampeners on here uh, to help with you know, vibrations. The frame is made of a durable plastic. Uh, it does have a little flex in it. However, uh, I do believe that could take a beating and also the cage on top is made of the same material which protects the camera and all the other components you know within uh, it protects the camera if you hit you know front end it is kind of recessed in so um, if you do have a front end collision or if you fall upside down or something like that it does protect the the camera right here this is the um, GPS module and um, <clears throat> This is the battery, of course. This is a, I believe it's a 24 or 2420 milliamp battery, uh, which is rated for, I believe, 18 minutes of hover time. So real world flying, you're probably gonna get like 15 minutes um, in real world flying, 15, 14, 15 minutes or something like that. Now you have your five blade uh, propellers here. And also, it doesn't have any 
sensors on the uh, front and back. However, it does have sensors on the bottom. Looks like there are like ultrasonic sensors and uh, like a um, optical flow or LiDAR sensor or something like that um, to help with, you know, your altitude when you're flying in uh, normal or sport mode. Um, if you're flying closer to ground, it does help uh, hold your altitude so it doesn't, you know, hit the ground or something like that as you're flying. Now, in manual mode, I don't believe this, this works, but in sport mode and uh, normal mode, it, this should, you know, these sensors should kick in. All right, so the Goggles 2 is a nice upgrade from the version 2 goggles. Um, it has these flip-up antennas, so no longer do you have to unscrew the antennas to store it away. Um, it does come with this cover for the inside uh, to help protect the, the lenses. Now the lenses, um, the uh, lenses are adjustable for the width of your eyes and also for uh, focusing. You just twist these little knobs here to focus and you can slide them back and forth uh, to adjust them according to the width of your eyes. To lock it in place, all you need to do is just uh, press down and twist and it does lock it in place. All right, so on the bottom here, you have your SD card slot, your headphone jack, your power cord uh, slot there, and here is a USB-C uh, port for connecting your phone or doing you know, firmware updates from your computer. Now on the side, there's a touchpad uh, to navigate through the, the various menus here. Um, this is very uh, intuitive and uh, that's pretty much it. It does have a fan um, in here so it does cool off the, the goggles uh, while they're on. Um, I'm not sure if it does, if it fogs up. I haven't really used these yet outdoors or have been sweating in them or anything like that. So that's something I'm going to have to test out. Now the battery for the goggles is a 1800 milliamp uh, battery and I'm not sure how much uh, battery life or how long, how many flights you can get in between. That's something I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'll test that out. But if you press the button, you'll see it gives you an indication of how much battery is in there. And here is the motion controller. Now the motion controller is something I really didn't want, but I am going to give it a try. And um, you know, it could be fun, but on here you have your trigger here for accelerating. Uh, I believe this is the uh, takeoff button here, takeoff and land button there. And this is the mode button right here. And this big button here is your brake. And on the side you have your gimbal tilt uh, lever here and your record button uh, here's your power on your power button and if you press it uh, it gives you an indication of how much uh, power you have left in there now on the bottom you have your USB-C port this is where you charge it or maybe do firmware updates as well and uh, that's about it all right so that's it for this quick unboxing um, I'm kind of excited and a little bit anxious to get out and uh, start flying this. Um, I'm also curious on how the you know simulator translates over to real world flying. Uh, I have been practicing for a little while, so uh, I like to see you know how I can do when I'm flying this. Um, so, like I said earlier, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Until next time. You guys fly safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.